Hello ladies and gentlemen, Jones here bringing you another Mass Effect Andromeda build video. Hopefully the volume is good this time, I've had a few complaints that the volume was not loud enough. I tweaked it a little bit, hopefully it's better now. If it's not, I'll keep tweaking it, just put it in the comments section below. Just let me know if everything's alright, or if it's still too low. Alright guys, uh, this time we're actually going to get, take a look at the Angoran, Angoran, no, Angoran Exemplar, wow. Uh, this is actually the second and seven of my tunes that I have at level X. The others are fairly far, but it'll probably take a take a while before I can get another N7 in here. <clears throat> anyway, let's get into it. I'm using a six one six 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 build in Overload. We are going for massive damage, going for damage at rank four. Anti-Shield at rank 5, and EMP at rank 6. You're probably wondering why are you not going for recharge speed? Well, that's easy. Uh, the Angaran Exemplar has a few abilities in his kit that allows him to actually have a very short cooldown, but I'll come back to that later. An Energy Drain, again, not going for recharge speed, going for effectiveness, Auxiliary Drain, and then damage at rank 6. Going again for the full amount of damage. Not going for the extended drain. Might be wondering why. Uh, very simple reason. This has br been brought to my attention by another YouTuber. I forgot his name. I'm sorry for that. But if you're watching, know that it is you. Uh, overload briefly primes the target. So if you overload into energy drain, you will do a tech detonation. So keep that in mind. That means that we don't need extended drain, just overload immediately into an energy drain and you'll be set. In a bioelectric focus, we are going not for damage, but now we are actually going for efficiency to have uh, all power recharge speeds. This is important. At rank 6, we don't need duration uh, because overloads prime duration is not really that long anyway, so having the 50% extra duration is not really gonna cut it. It's about like half a second. It's maybe like a second, maybe half a second, I don't know. But 50% of, of, a, of a second, what is that? Like half a second more. It's 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 not really it's not really useful. Go for focus damage instead so that you do more damage and also more combo damage because it is the combo damage that we're actually going to be looking into. At rank six, go for detonation feedback every time we kill something with a combo detonation, which will happen a lot. Especially in the lower levels, uh, we get a power time, power recharge time rebate of 35%. That is massive. Every time we kill something, you will see it in the gameplay video as well. You will see that while one of the powers is actually already on cooldown, and the other starts, when the combo detonation kills the person or the enemy in question, it suddenly restarts and it's a lot faster. In bioelectric defense, we are going for regeneration at rank 4, keeping us alive a little bit longer. In rank 5, we are going for augmentation for more recharge speed on our powers and also a 30% power restoration and defense buff. This means that our energy drain has been buffed in effectiveness. Not damage, but just effectiveness. It gives more shields back. And at rank 6, we are going for bioelectric ward so that we gain a bit of resistance or our allies gain a bit of resistance every time they take damage. As for loadouts, you can use any gun you so desire. I'm using the shadow right now. I used the, the paw in the last video. This time I'm gonna look how the shadow does in platinum. And as for your equipment, it should always reflect the type of damage you deal the most. This is going to be in the form of our powers. So Omni Capacitors is the thing that we're gonna be needing. It increases the damage of tech powers, but also increases the recharge speed by 15%. As for your consumables, I do recommend a Disruptor Ammo Mod. Why? Because if you detonate into it, it'll leave a patch of electricity behind, which will prime targets again because of your uh, bioelectric focus ability. Bioelectric focus is actually very unique in the sense that tech combo detonations now prime enemies in the damage zone. So if you have a bunch of enemies like clumped together and you detonate into it, well, everybody in that zone that just got hit by the detonation is now primed as well. This is why uh, energy drain, auxiliary drain comes into action because if you use your disruptor ammo and then you use overload into an enemy, he detonates 
and all the enemies around him are primed for your auxiliary drain energy drain. Explosions everywhere! And for the second consumable, either a power efficiency mod to lower the cooldown even further, or if you feel like the cooldown is already low enough, you can go for a tech power amp instead. Now, I've played a few Platinum games with him already, and I have to say that the Angara Exemplar is a beast, so I'm very excited to show you guys how well he does in Platinum. Hostile territory, people. Secure this position and stay sharp. I wonder if any Objects of interest detected in the mission area. Find and return to drop point.
Enemy is triangulating our nearest outpost. Find their sensor arrays and get them broken. Very well. Enemy tech shut down. Teammate injured.
nearby. Let's take them out. Right away. Target eliminated. We've got a read on another priority target. Down. Please hold on. 